Joining me now is the mayor of Jackson, Mississippi, Mayor Shokwe Lumumba. Uh, mayor, appreciate you joining us uh, on, I'm sure, is a very busy weekend. Um, I want to ask you about your, your message to residents now, because on Saturday morning you had that news conference. You obviously had a lot of urgency in your voice. The message was for residents to get out now, the residents in the low-lying areas. Is there still time to get out? Yes, there is, uh, but, but that should be executed as soon as possible. Uh, unfortunately, uh, because we have seen these events as recently as 2020, uh, we have uh, a reference point and we know the damage that can occur. Uh, and so we're asking those residents to, to heed the warnings that are being provided to them. Uh, we have a coalition that has responded early and often, uh, going from both city departments to the county, uh, all the way up to the state. Uh, and so I'm very pleased with the coalition and their response. Uh, now we need our residents to take heed to these warnings uh, and move out quickly. Are you seeing people listening to that warning? Uh, by and large, by and large. But we, you know, if, if we uh, risk the life of one individual, that's one individual too many. Uh, and so we want to make certain that, that we know that both uh, people and individuals, pets, uh, and to the extent that some property can be saved, that it is, that it is all spared. Uh, due to early preparation. So we were saying that the Pearl River, uh, which you know runs through Jackson and south to Louisiana, is expected to crest tomorrow morning at 36 feet. First off, can you just give us um, some context here? It's supposed to crest at 36 feet. What are the normal levels, and what are you most concerned about? Well, uh, we're, we're concerned about about 100 to 150 homes that are in northeast Jackson and some homes that are south of us in south Jackson. Uh, that, you know, during these events uh, tend to be the ones affected. Uh, we're also concerned because our residents have been inundated uh, with persistent rain over the last few days. Mm. So we've already been ending with uh, flash flooding. And so it's, it's quite a toll on our residents. And so uh, we're just trying to make certain that we're present for them. Uh, 36 feet is, is uh, quite obviously a, a very scary uh, area for them to to uh, for the, the river to reach. Uh, I think around 31 feet uh, is oh, wow. is uh, around what we we normally see. And so uh, I don't want to you know state that as as an exact measurement, but I do know that 36 feet uh, is is far too high. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, uh, concerning enough to to get people uh, to get out as as soon as they can. Tell us about um, the preparations that are underway, and I understand that there are search and rescue teams on standby as well. But of course, you know, the hope is that you don't have to use uh, the search and rescue teams. Um, yeah, tell us more about the preparations. Well, we've had the coordination of, of both uh, the Jackson Police Department and Fire Department, uh, along with the Sheriff's Department. Uh, we have MEMA uh, that has been on the ground uh, and, and also Wildlife and Fisheries has all joined into uh, this effort to make certain that, that we have preparations for search and rescue. Uh, our Public Works Department has been clearing uh, areas of debris that they can. Uh, they've been preparing sandbags and issuing them to residents. Uh, our public transportation, JTRAN, uh, has been offering assistance to residents who uh, don't have the benefit of vehicles uh, in order to evacuate as, as early as they can. Uh, of course, the American Red Cross has, has uh, been uh, on the scene. Uh, they're operating a shelter at our police training academy uh, to ensure that those residents that have no other recourse uh, can seek shelter there. Uh, we've actually instructed our residents to, to you know, prepare kits uh, for as long as up to two weeks, because we know even while the event may be uh, projected to hit somewhere between Monday into Tuesday, uh, that that water can be with us uh, for some time. Uh, and so we're asking them to over prepare uh, in the event that, that their stay is, is far more extended than, than they would want it to be.